just I just realized that we have to speak this out. You know, we're living somebody else's creation right now and we're helping create their dream. We're helping create this world the way that it is by participating in their dream, by participating in their creation, by not by creating it the same as it's always been. By not doing anything different, we're actually creating this world the way that it is. So what you don't like about the world, you're part of it, man. You are part of creating it the way that it is. If you don't like all the hate in the world, you have got to stop hating. You've got to stop bringing hate into this fucking creation. If you don't like all the shit that's happening to people that are doing worse than you, and you're keeping yourself in a shitty place too, but if you don't like the way things are, you've got to start living true to who you really are. The things, the, the, the way that we were when we were growing up, the way that we thought that we should be, you know, the full loving beings that we are, where we, we love freely and we care about people and we love doing the things that we love, all that stuff. You know, we are creating this suffering. We are creating diseases. We are creating this slavery by participating in it. We are part of this system and we can change the system. Wow, look at the lights. See, the universe agrees with me. The universe isn't going away. Look at those pretty lights. Eh? The universe agrees with this little conversation that I'm having with you. We've got to stop creating what, you know, somebody else's dream when it hurts so many people all across the globe. You know, we have a, a way to make this planet livable and blissful by bringing in our happiness, by, by being happier. And that means doing the things that you want to do. And not thinking so limited removing all those limitations, removing all those beliefs and negative energies and trapped emotions, those little stories that you've had all your life that have been preventing you from being able to do all the things that you want to do, myself included, I don't think I'm not part of this, I'm still creating this world, I'm still on my way to the matrix now, I'm, I'm part of this system, but I know that the way to change the status quo is not to ram up the ass of this car, <laughs> is to focus on the road and not the camera, which is what I'm doing, but to create our own realities. And since I healed myself through believing that I could, and that was just the starting point, of what I could do now. And I'm just starting to realize just how powerful we are. What we can do in this human form while we are here. I mean, we are, we are experiencing this human experience to do all the things that is possible in this limited form. But we place so many goddamn extra challenges and limitations on us they don't even need to be there. You know, they've been placed in us all our lives, from before birth in some cases. The feeling of not being welcome here and not being loved and not having your love returned and not caring about people, that's become the new normal. And we need to make a new normal. A new world and not a new world order. <laughs> Fuck that. Not a new world order. We're not going to create their dream for them. We're going to create our own realities. We're going to create our own dreams. And that starts with believing that it's fucking possible. Removing the limitations of when it says to, you, to us that it's not possible. working on all our things that hold us back. So everything in your life, you know what you need to do. You just don't know how to do it and how to get out of it. And I know that everyone has a big 
challenge ahead of them. They know what they need to do. They know what they need to do. They just don't, don't, they have, there's too much in, in, their, in their way of, to be able to do it, but they need to take the steps to at least remove the limitations in the way of getting to that step where you can, when you know what you need to do. So that means you know what you need to do and I know that whatever it is that you think that you need to do seems so far away, seems so far off and that's part of the part of the journey, that's part of being human. But, but the road is the way. But all the limitations between you and what you need to do, all your limited beliefs between you and what you know you need to do, that are smaller steps that you can work on. And those things, if you release those, all the limitations in your way, and it doesn't have nothing to do with other people, it's all in your own creation. It's all in you. So work on your limited beliefs, and this is a message from me. Everything, every message I give you is a message for myself. Every advice I give you is my inner voice to my own head. So if I'm saying you, 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 I'm actually meaning me, me, me. So, I'm driving to the ghetto right now to do my work, to take part in the system. And hopefully I stay on this high that I'm on. I believe that I will today. And I believe this time today that I'll help raise the vibrations in that area to help other people. So while we're here, let's start removing those damn emotions that hold us back, those limited negative beliefs that hold us back, anything, any belief that you took on, unconsciously or consciously, that you are not good enough, that you are not enough, that you are limited in any way. That is your next step. That is your homework, Penny. Your homework is every single day removing those limited negative beliefs. And then, when you feel like a powerful, infinite, being, having a human experience, and you can create the world that you want to create, then you no longer need to work on work in the low vibrations area. You no longer need to work on your, you know, keep, keep fixing what is not even broken. Keep removing the layers that you put on yourself. Dissipate, and there'll be nothing left to work on. The only thing that you'll end up working on then is creating this beautiful new world where there is no human suffering because they'll all realize just how powerful and unlimited they are. And let's find out what we can do in these human shells. Let's find out what our souls can do in these human shells. Let's find out just how far we can push the bar when we realize that nothing is impossible. Let's just see what's possible. Let's not dwell in the it's impossible. Let's not even dwell there because if our thoughts create our reality, which they do, and if we can heal ourselves with just our thoughts, which we have, and if we can create our lives with just our thoughts and we have, then let's dwell where there's a little bit more happiness. Let's dwell where there's a little bit less human suffering. Let's dwell where there's no fear. Let's dwell where the people who are in control of this creation right now, who are keeping everybody in a low vibration, who are keeping everybody in this reality, and we are helping them by the way. 
We are helping them by letting them win. We are helping them by actually participating in it, by believing that this is all we're meant to be, that this is all we can do. We can't do anymore. We are kept in this prison. And our mind will set us free. Because once you see and believe that you created this, destroy and create, sorry, destroy and uncreate all the parts of this world that you did, you don't actually want that you've created, that your vibrations keep it real. So use your superpower. Your superpower is your belief system. Train it up. Harness it. Create a better belief system, create a belief system that serves your life, that serves your happiness, that serves your health. Does that make sense? Probably not. Once you see it, you see it though. Once you see it, you'll believe it. And I am going to find a way of helping you. this rabbit hole. I'm going to drag you all down this rabbit hole. And when I say drag you down, I actually mean lift you up. <laughs> because there is much love here. There is much bliss here. feel unconditional care for everything and they don't have to let it hurt them because what hurts us is these goddamn trapped emotions and trapped energies throughout our lives when we didn't know how to clear them you clear all that crap up you clear up your shit and then you start to believe when you start to believe and you start Removing the limitations from your life, you can start to think, well, how good can this get? How much better can this get? I'm not even going to ask you if that makes sense. I'm going to trust your soul, your soul is hearing me. If your soul doesn't want to dwell in the negative energies any longer, then your soul is sick of trying to tell you what to do and how to get out of your shitty situation. If you, your higher being, yourself, whoever you believe is out there looking out for you, if they haven't been able to get through to you yet, perhaps this little seed will help because any little seed, any little way to step you up to the next level of wherever you are is a step towards a better future for you and for everyone else in your world and which includes me because you are in my world and I am in your world. All right, I have to put this down to turn it Oh, and I just got a park. Woohoo! Hang on. Oh, I gotta look over there. Oh, that's weird. Alright, I give up. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that guy took my park. I'm an infinite being having a human experience. Shouldn't I have been able to manifest that car spot? <laughs>